In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up all of your NADN workflows every week into a GitHub account so that you never lose them. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, just a quick update, this will not work for NADN cloud users. So if you are not self-hosting, skip this video. Now, I've done all of the heavy lifting for you guys in this video, so you actually don't have to write any code or do almost anything. It's really easy. All you have to do is copy the GitHub repo add in a couple of secrets and you're already good to go. That being said, I am going to cover a little bit of the code so that you guys know it's not malicious and you guys understand what it's doing. But if you don't want to see that, you just want to hook it up, you can skip ahead. All right, so taking a look at the code here, first we have this backup workflows.py. Now, basically what this is doing, here we're grabbing the credentials of the Postgres that the n is using, right? Next, we're creating a brand new folder called temporary n exports. Now, here we're gonna save all of the n workflows in there, and then later we're going to take them all, make a zip folder of the date, we're gonna delete the temporary folder, and you will just have your backups as a date in the n Next, here what we're doing is we're connecting to the database itself. Then we're grabbing all of the workflows. Now the workflows are saved in multiple different places with different columns. So we had to kind of reconstruct them, but it works really well. I tested importing these backups and they import just fine. And if there's no workflows, obviously we have that test case. Next, we export all of the workflows into the temporary folder. We're grabbing the name, the nodes, all the connections, the versions of the nodes. We're saving them with a safe name and saving them as a JSON file. And then we just do a quick console command saying, hey, you know, we exported these workflows. Then we zip them all together with the name of the zip being the date of today, right? So it will say in in backup today. And here we write the zip file. And then we say, hey, we zip the backup. And then we delete the temporary folder and we close the connection to the database. Next, we have our GitHub Actions file. Now this one is really simple. Uh, this says that it's going to run every Sunday at 5 a.m. Now you can change this if you want it to run more often or less often. So just keep that in mind. Just changing that one line will change how frequently and when this will do backups, okay? Next, basically, we're grabbing a Ubuntu machine. We're grabbing the secrets from GitHub. Next, we grab the repo. We tell it what version of Python we want to use. We tell it to install Psychopic and a couple of dependencies.env, right? We run the script we just created, and then we save the zip to the repo. That's all that's happening. Now, in order for this to work, all you have to do is go to the link I posted down below and click fork. Go ahead and give it a name, whatever you want. I recommend that you make it private afterwards uh, so that people don't steal your n workflows. Beautiful, now that it's forked. So to make it private, you go to general settings, you go all the way down and you click leave fork network and then say, I understand. And you have to type this, I'm just gonna copy paste. Click leave fork network. Of course, you have to verify. If you're learning in 8 in and would like a little bit of help, I'm hosting a free community to help you guys out. There we have challenges to earn some real cash money. I also answer any question that gets posted in the group. So if that's something you're interested in, please check out the link down below. Now it takes a minute to leave the fork network, so give it a second. Go ahead and refresh the page and after about one or two minutes, it'll be done and you'll be able to change the visibility to be private and make it a private repository, agree, and make this repository private. Now nobody can see your innate in backups, so you're good to go. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to open the actions in a new tab real quick to help me out. We're gonna click enable actions on this repository, and we're gonna click on weekly innate in workflow backup. We're gonna click on the .yml file right here, and it'll bring this up. And we need to create a couple of secrets. So we need our Postgres host, our port, our database, our user, and our password. Now this will change depending on how you guys deployed your n in This will not work on the n in IO cloud, just so you know. I use this with Railway, so I'm gonna show you how to find this within Railway. But like I said, you guys should be able to find this. If you use Docker to set this up, it will be in your Docker Compose file, right? If you deploy it on Coolify, you should find it in Coolify. If you deploy it on Railway, it should be in Railway. 
If you use digital ocean droplet, the settings should be in there somewhere. So you should be able to find these settings. Cool, so now we have our railway open and what we're looking to do is we're looking to open our Postgres server. Now inside of railway, you have to make the server public before you can actually connect to it. And so in order to do that, you go into networking and there should be a setting right here to say add to public domain to get a URL. So you click that, uh, you wanna do TCP proxy, click yes and then it'll say save changes, you click save changes. Once that's done, you're going to get these settings right here. So here is the URL and here is the port number that you're going to need. So that's the first two. So we're gonna go back over to GitHub. We're going to go into GitHub settings. Then we're going to go over to secrets and variables. We're gonna click on actions. And we're gonna go new repository secret. And we're gonna make the name the same name as here. So our Postgres host right here will be this URL right here. And then we're gonna add another secret. We'll go back and we need to put Postgres port. And the port for this one is gonna be this one right here. This one will probably be 5432 if you're not using Railway, most likely. And now we've got the first two. Now we still need the database, the user, and the password. So in order to find that, you can go into variables. And here we can see the database. So this one's called Railway. So let's go ahead and grab that and click Add Secret. And then we're gonna go to the Postgres user. Again, it's Railway. Let's make a new secret. And finally, we have our password. Now, I'm not gonna show this one. I'm just gonna copy it. Um, but we can add a new secret and copy the Postgres password, put it there, click Add Secret. Beautiful. And now technically, we're connected and good to go and it should run every Sunday. Sometimes your GitHub actions won't register as a timer, so all you have to do is go over to the YML file right here, do a quick edit, and just make a change. Doesn't really matter what you say, like this, and then click Commit Changes, and then it should register and start running. So in order to test this, all you have to do is go over to Actions right here, click on the weekly and it in workflow backup and click run workflow. Give it a minute and we can see it's running right here. So we can actually click on it and kind of watch it as it goes. And it says it's done, beautiful. So let's go back over to the code and we can see now that we have a brand new backup right here. So that's how you do it manually. And then of course it'll run every Sunday either way. So this will start getting really full with zip files with all of your workflows and to test to make sure that it works for you guys we can go ahead and download this file and as you can see we have all of our workflows here so i'm going to pick a simple one that i've already shown you guys i'm going to copy it we're going to put it on my desktop now we're going to go over to our n8n let's click create workflow let's click import from file let's find it on the desktop and there we go it's imported and you can see it imported just fine i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys would like some more help with N8N, I am hosting a free community to help you guys out. There we have challenges to earn some real cash money. I also answer any question that gets posted in the group. So if that's something you're interested in, please check out the link down below. And you guys have a wonderful day.